We've been sent a leg. A human leg. Do you still think it's one of those three men? Whitaker's in Catford. Lang was in Corby, but is now in Elephant and Castle. And Brockbank just got fired from a strip club in Shoreditch. Let's just find this guy. Careful exiting the hotel. We were followed last night. <laughs> You've never met her. Kelsey Platt. We're finished. Hiya. I took five years between the end of Harry Potter and publishing again, and those five years were great. I just had lots of time to play, and I did a lot of different things. As I entered this new genre, one that I'd always wanted to write in, I really wanted to go in without expectation or baggage. I don't like it. You don't have to like it. Still a good idea. Career of Evil was technically a challenge because you've only got three suspects, so I like to set myself these challenges and then curse myself two-thirds of the way through the book, thinking, who made me do this? Oh, that was me. Career of Evil was very different to the other two because the sort of stakes of the story arrive on the doorstep. In the very first chapter, the detective agency has sent a severed leg. Like you can't get much more kind of threatening than that. It's not even in my size. And the way in which Strike and Robin deal with that, I think that definitely sets the tone for the rest of the book. Cup of tea? Something stronger. I've got beer. Tea sounds good. We kind of have a story where there are three incredibly guilty people, only one of whom may have done this, but they've all done something absolutely, literally horrific. Whitaker got away with murder, twice. Lang charmed everyone while he kept his wife terrified. Brock Brent was a child rapist who managed to convince everyone that he was the injured party. What makes it more impactful, in a way, is that Robin and Strike are, in a different sense, kind of very much implicated in those circumstances. So how does it help frame you, him sending you her leg? Depends what the killer's trying to achieve. If they want to make sure I never work again, send me the leg, involve me in a murder case, let the press do the rest. He is very much of this time. He is a veteran of wars. He's a complex character. Sergeant Strike, SIB. Because he's rooted partly in the military and partly in a very loose world that a lot of people would like to enter without really understanding how damaging that world can be. Nobody wants to hire a detective who's accused of being a paedophile and a murderer. Can't afford the rent on this place next month. Life is tricky for most people, and I think he comes at everything with that. He knows that. It's tricky for him. It's not like tricky just because he lost, you know, the bottom third of his leg. It's not tricky just because his mother was murdered. It's just tricky. I mean, you could almost say he's a cynic in that sense. It's only 500 quid, but if we don't pay the bills, we won't be able to work here anymore. Under the circumstances, you're better off putting it on a horse. Uh, I'm better off here. Let me do this for us. The dynamic between them is, I think, the thing that keeps people reading, and it's certainly the thing that keeps me writing. It's an interesting dynamic that Strike and Robin have, because it's a kind of this building of mutual respect for each other. Sorry, I messed up. I'm not here to tell you off. How did you manage to? I told you, I did a self-defense course. Come, very good, thank you. She's incredibly generous, as well as being super bright, super intelligent. It's like there's obvious some, some sort of like attraction to begin with, but it's like as the mutual respect grows, so does the attraction. It becomes the kind of fulcrum on which a lot of the tension of the story does operate. Sleep well. Sleep well. Yeah, you too. It was implausible that all three of these suspects would conveniently be down the road in London. We went up north on a road trip. Although a lot of the film is set in London, sections of it are set in Yorkshire and in um, Barrow and Furness in Cumbria. Barrow and Furness, I loved it. It's a very distinctive, unique, urban, working city where they make nuclear submarines. This enormous factory overshadows the whole town. You have these Lowry-esque rows of workers' cottages. Your beer on holiday. Does anyone ever come to Barrow and Furness on holiday? The Abbey's popular and the nature reserves. Through the whole of the first three books, I have seeded future plots. So I already know where he's going to go. And I've already mentioned things I need to mention. And I've mentioned people I need to have mentioned because you will meet them in further books. So the larger plot is about these two characters and what happens to them personally. 
that's the thing I'm really keeping an eye on. Who is it? It's Wardle. <sighs> Open the door. Hold on. Look at my leg on.